everybody, and welcome to our new kind of studio. Um, we're going to be giving you guys a lot of digital exclusives and stuff from this room, which just happens to be bigger than our television studio for whatever reason. <laughs> um, starting with this one, which is the Monday Morning Monologue, also known as Mmm. <laughs> Soon to be sponsored, I assume, by Campbell's, in which we'll call it Mmm, Mmm, Good Video. <laughs> Great, good content. Uh, Start getting used to this. Every single Monday, I'm going to be getting you caught up on what happened in the NFL on Sunday. Uh, the goal is to get in as many jokes as I can in two minutes. So I have a clock here. Very fancy. And we're going to start now. <laughs> According to ESPN, Sunday was the first time the Raiders, Jaguars, Browns, Buccaneers, and Redskins each won on the same day. And the last. <laughs> Tony Romo left in the third quarter with a broken clavicle. And even with that broken clavicle, he was still the best quarterback in the stadium yesterday. <laughs> the only person more upset than Cowboys fans was Brandon Whedon. <laughs> still a thing. When asked about Tony Romo's injury, Jerry Jones said he felt just about as low as a crippled cricket's ass. So, really low? Or <laughs> kind of low? Uh, Troy Aikman called the Eagles' performance about as poor a performance as I've ever seen in this league. Clearly, Troy missed yesterday's Saints game. <laughs> In what was almost definitely a shot at Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers said, I think God was a Packers fan tonight. Leave me out of this, said Tom Brady. <laughs> Sorry, everyone's going to hate that joke. How are we doing on time? we got a minute. During a touchdown run, Cam Newton flipped over a defensive player, but somehow landed on his feet. RG3 got injured just watching that highlight. <laughs> Clock management issues and late game mistakes by the Giants have people wondering if Tom Coughlin is sitting on the hot seat. When asked for comment, Coughlin said, huh, what? <laughs> is he 90 or does he just look 90? Because I feel like if he made the clock a sundial, he would definitely be able to manage it. Uh, a week after Bills fans chanted, we want Brady, Tom Brady threw for 466 yards and four touchdowns in Buffalo. I assume they meant as their quarterback. <laughs> Bills fans made some great tailgating signs for the game, including this one of Rex Ryan on Miley Cyrus's wrecking ball. But then the Patriots went on to score 40 points, so maybe we can't stop was the more appropriate Miley song. Are we out of time? Jason Myers, a rookie kicker. We're done. That means I have to stop? Oh, I, couldn't, I don't know how numbers work. I'm Tom Coughlin. I can't manage my clock. Uh, that was my two minutes, guys. I, I, I nailed it. I only gave them a minute 55. I think they're going to be mad. Uh, this week on the show, we have Chris DiStefano and plenty more Tony Romo jokes. You're welcome. See you Wednesday at midnight on FS1. Bye. This isn't real metal. <laughs>